You're very well. Yeah, um, I'm, this, uh, I'm talking to you, this is Izzy and... Hello, uh, hello Joe, it's Ian here. How are you doing, my friend? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, it's really good really good to talk to you. We didn't get you up, did we? No, no, you're all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's really good. Well, we we, uh, we, we we tried ringing for a while and we're thinking, oh gosh, he's not answering, he's not answering. But really, really glad, uh, really glad that we've got hold of you. So, well, as I say, welcome to Freedom FM. Thank and, you. And uh, our guest uh, this morning is, uh, as I say, Joe McKeldry, who was the 2009 X Factor winner. And Joe is playing at the Memorial Theatre in Froome on the 17th of April. And you're presently in the middle of uh, your Evolution tour. Yes, I am, yes. Yeah. We started, um, I had a little break um, for about two and a half weeks, three weeks. And we started our first show again last night. So um, it was back, back to business last night. And it went really well, it was all good. And I'm really, I'm really glad to be back on the road, to be honest. It's, uh, it's nice to be back. So, jo Joe, I'm I'm a big fan personally. Thank you. Yeah, I, I voted for you when you were on X Factor. Thank you very much. But you also won pop star to opera star, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. So how was your transition from pop star to opera star? Um, I mean, it was kind of a bit of a surprise, I suppose, because I didn't really know what to expect with the show and things, and I I'd seen it on TV, and I kind of I didn't really kind of believe, I suppose, that they were actually going to teach people how to do it properly. I thought it was a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, and when I got the first rehearsal on the first day, they were like, no, no, like, forget everything you've ever learned. You, you, you can't sing like that anymore. We're going to basically teach you how to sing again. Yeah. Um, which was quite a frightening process, but <laughs> it was one of the best things I've ever done. And obviously the, the outcome of it was fabulous because I kind of got to experience a whole new genre of music. That's become a massive part of my career, you know. It's, um, it's, it's, it, it was... It was one of the biggest albums I've ever done, um, it's, it was, it's got, um, and obviously I sing it in all the shows now, and I'll probably record another album of that material as well. So it's, it's become a it's become a, a genre that that is that I'm known for. So you weren't really into classical music before, or were you? I never really listened to it to be honest, but I'm a massive fan of it now, obviously, yeah. and I kind of that show I think made me really appreciate it. Yeah. Joe, uh, well, one of the things that, that struck me when, when we announced on Twitter that, uh, that we were interviewing you and I, when I've spoken to friends and family about it, uh, one of the things that uh, really struck me is just how much love there is for you out there. Oh. You are an incredibly popular guy. Did you know that? Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Um, uh, well, You've I mean, some... I, I suppose it's quite strange to hear, to hear somebody say that to you, but um, I, what I do know is, is that I've been I've been very lucky to have a very supportive fan base, and I think um, I do when I go on Twitter and stuff and online and stuff, I can really see that. And um, I, I say it all the time. It must get boring as saying it, but I'm I'm very very lucky, and and um, they're, they're a huge part of why I'm able to do what I do every day. You know, yeah. It's without the fans, you can't do anything, and without people turning up the shows, buying the songs, um, showing their love on Twitter and stuff, you can't you can't do I can't do my job unless I have that. So. I, I realise I'm very lucky. Because during X Factor, Cheryl was a massive fan of yours and she turned out to be your mentor, didn't yeah. she? So yeah, yeah, she was my mentor on the show. Yeah. Are, are you still in touch with Cheryl? Or? Yeah, I mean, we don't speak all the time. Like It's not like every day kind of thing, but we're still in touch. We still have each other's numbers and we speak every now and again. And um, you know, Whenever we're kind of doing something where it's able to meet up and catch up, we do. So it's, uh, it's good that we've kept up a relationship. We have an email from some fans that would like to say hello. Oh, okay. Um, Alicia and Sarah would like to say hello from his Somerset, Joe McEldry, massive fan base, and they can't wait to see you next week for your Somerset gigs. Oh, well, I can't wait. I can't wait to meet them. Hopefully, I get to meet them. Yes. Yeah, and there's uh, somebody called Jeanette as well. And uh, yeah, it's been. It's been and, uh, our Twitter's been very busy, Joe. I've got it, everyone's it really has. feeling the love for the McEldry. <laughs> uh, Joe, you've released four albums. Yes. And is there a fifth one on the way? Well, obviously the tour runs until July, um, but I do have a lot of new material, and I do uh, we we'll have a lot of ideas of what kind of album we're going to work on um, once the tour's done. And I've got a bit of a gap in the summer, so I'll probably nail something down then um, and get it all together. But um, it's it's definitely on its way. So, Joe, if yeah. you were to go on Celebrity Come Dine with me, sorry, if you were to go on Celebrity Come Dine with right. me, what would be your menu? Oh god, I'm not a great cook. Um, I could, I've, I've actually, I've actually mastered how to do a very good steak recently, mm. <laughs> which isn't that hard, I know. Um, <laughs> but so I might do steak and uh, steak and chips, maybe. Good choice. <laughs> yeah. um, I could do something like a goat's cheese starter, like a goat's cheese salad, or 
stuff, I can do a stuffed pepper with goat's cheese in. Well, that sounds nice. Um, and then I, I used to be able to make a really good cheesecake, because I might do a cheesecake. It's all round to yours for something to eat, I think, Joe, with a menu like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Do, do you prefer performing live, or, you know, or, uh, do you like going into the recording studio, and, or, you know, do you have a preference? L live, hands down. Mm. I absolutely love live. I think this, the, sometimes, um, it's obviously not possible, and I make a joke about this, but sometimes I wish there was an audience in the studio, because um, there's something about a buzz that you get and it, it, when, when there's an audience there, and something about it just being fully live, and you, sometimes, you know, you're flying, you're flying back to the city, you, you know, you're kind of having to just go for it. Um, and I think sometimes you capture things in a moment like that, that you can never, ever capture in a studio, which is a shame. Um, but I think it's just about the fact that you've got an audience there and it's that kind of added pressure. So um, it, it would be nice if I could perform with about a thousand people in the studio. That would, that would make the job a bit easier, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you obviously performed to over a million people during X Factor. What did it feel like, you know, performing to such a massive crowd? I was just, somebody asked me this the other day, actually, I was out having some food with somebody and they said, um, what is it like, what... What do you do when you go out there in front of all of them people? And I said, well, it's kind of like somebody slapping you in the face, if that makes <laughs> sense. Because you don't really know what's going on. It's kind of such an adrenaline rush. And the nerves are kind of taking total control of your body that it's that fight or flight thing. And then when you actually stand out there, it's just like this rush of energy that feels like somebody's punched you in the face. And then all of a sudden it's done. And you're like, I did, it feels like you, um, you, you haven't actually done it. You come off stage and you're a bit like, I've actually just done that. Yeah. Um, but sometimes that happens with, with shows, um, you know, not, not on TV. Sometimes I do a concert or a gig and I might be really nervous one night and you go on stage and it's that same kind of feeling. All of a sudden you're, you're at the last song um, before the end of the show and you feel like you haven't even done the rest of the show because it's just gone, the adrenaline's just kind of took you right through it. Uh, and during during the X Factor, you um, performed. I think was it in the semi with, uh, with George Michael. Yes, yeah. How was that? Uh, I mean, I, I've been a massive fan of him for years. I mean, mum, I grew up listening to all his music, so I couldn't quite believe that. Obviously, he hadn't done a performance. I don't think for such a long time that he'd agreed, obviously, to come on the show and sing with me. So it was a it was a massive uh, honour and privilege for me. Um, and just something obviously that I'll never ever, it was a massive highlight, something that I'll always kind of remember. Yeah, and what was it the Elton John song you sang, was, was it? Yeah, we sang Don't Let the Sun Go Down yeah, on Me. brilliant, brilliant. So, you're coming to Somerset next week? Yeah. Have you ever visit, visited Somerset before? I came to Froome last year actually, it's Froome, you see Froome, Froome. don't say Froome. Yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> it's my accent. <laughs> no, no, you didn't, no, you said it right first time, Joe, well done. I've been to Froome last year, <laughs> And I did a show there, and I remember the weather was, was absolutely buoyant last year, um, yeah, and it was it's great. That's it what it's always fun. like here. It's Sorry? Quite, the sun always shines in fruit. Yeah, it was great. It was, the weather was amazing. So there were, great, there were a brilliant audience, and I did try some of your uh, Somerset cider. Oh, what do you think of Somerset cider? Um, it's a bit of an acquired <laughs> aqu <laughs> taste. It's very strong, isn't it? And I did, I, I only had a tiny bit and I had a really bad head. <laughs> I wasn't even, I didn't even drink like a full glass of it and it'd give us like a really strong <laughs> head, so I might not have that this time. Welcome yeah. to Somerset, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> The, 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 this this explains why sort of Somerset people are like they are because you know they're, they're all walking around with kind of marginally bad heads. Oh, with the, they're always constantly hung over. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know we'll, they won't like you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. They're, they're, <laughs> we love Somerset. Yeah, we do. We, we do love Somerset. So, what can fans expect from your show next week? Well, obviously, it's very different to last year's show. You've got um, the evolution two ads called, so kind of takes you right from the beginning of, of where I started career wise. Takes on a little bit of a musical kind of journey, I suppose. I hate using that word, but it is. Um, so we do a, a few songs that I did on X Factor that I've also recorded as well. And then it kind of goes through all of the albums um, in the first half of the show. The second half of the show is all about kind of having fun, dancing, singing along. So it's, it's just, I think there's something there for everyone. Whether you come to hear the classical stuff, the pop stuff, do you want to just sit back and enjoy the show? Do you want to get up and sing and dance? There's opportunities in the show for for all of those things. I try and make the show fit to every kind of audience member, which um, makes for a great show, but it makes my job very hard. <laughs> yeah. I can certainly see why the fans love you, Joe. You've really, you, you know, you really do sort of consider them, I guess, when you, know, when you are um, thinking about what you're going to put into your shows. 
Well, I mean, I think it's important to do that because obviously sometimes, I, I mean, I, I know what I'm like. Um, if I go and see a show and the person starts singing a load of songs that you can tell they want to sing, but nobody wants to hear them. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, sometimes you have to actually do the things that people are coming to see and want to hear and things. So I, I always look on Twitter for what people are suggesting song-wise and on Facebook and online. And when I do the show, I kind of get a feel for what goes down well. And I think you have to really give people what they want to hear because at the end of the day, they are the people coming to see the show, you know. Mm. And you have, to, you have to make it what they want. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> last uh, Christmas, you were in Panto in Bradford. Yes, with Gla the, with Gla glamorous Bradford. Yeah, absolutely. With Billy Pierce, that's a that's a great show, isn't it? I I, I, I didn't go this year. We went up north this year, but uh, my parents went, and they absolutely loved it. Oh, uh, it was absolutely. I had the best time ever with yeah. Billy. Um, he's such an incredible guy, yeah. very talented guy as well, and it was absolutely hilarious. I, I laughed every day hysterically yeah. for the whole um, eight weeks that I was there. It was I'm, I'm actually still sad that that's over. Mm. Um, I loved it so much. Yeah. No, I heard nothing but good things about it. I mean, as I say, sadly, we, we didn't get up there this year to see it. We, we went to the uh, the one this year before, and uh, Chico was, uh, was... It's Chico time. That's him. <laughs> yeah, Chico was there, and he, and he had a wonderful time, I think, with Billy as well. Uh, do, 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 does um, kind of musical theatre or, or, you know, does that kind of appeal to you in the future, perhaps? Uh, yeah, 100%. Right. Um, it, uh, you know, obviously, I've, I've, I've been offered to do a few things, um, along the way, but it's just about the time, you know, obviously, if they ask me to do something now and I'm on tour, it's difficult to kind of block out six months six months in advance to do something, so um, if the time fits right and it's something that I really want to do, and a part that I would do, I would 100% do I'm a massive fan of musical theatre, so I definitely will do it at some point, you know, I think it'll be that kind of thing where I actually sit down and go, okay, I'm, I'm going to commit the year to doing projects like that, and then we can kind of plan it like that, so... I'm sure it'll be soon. So, Joe, you're from Newcastle. Yes. Uh, do you know, question, I, I'm a big fan, do you know Anton Deck? Yes, I do. I mean, I don't know them when, I don't know them really well, but I've done a few work things with them, so I do know of them. Are they nice or...? Yes, they're lovely. Oh. Really nice guys. <laughs> you're a big fan of theirs, aren't you, Izzy? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Well, yeah. if I see them next time, I'll tell them. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like them as well. but I love Anton Deck, they're yeah. lovely. Yeah. Not as um, lovely as you, though, Joe. Oh, bless you. <laughs> And uh, Joe, you, um, you you appeared on the jump as well. How was how was that kind of going down a, a ski hill? Yeah, well, it was painful. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was painful, but it was a great. I mean, I, I do a lot of skiing myself anyway, so I'm a huge fan of like winter sports and everything. So um, on that side of it, I absolutely loved it. But at the same time, it was it was hard work. Um, it was like up at six o'clock in the morning every day, training for seven, eight, nine, and twelve hours a day. Um, every muscle in my body was aching all over. But again, a once in a lifetime experience that you'll get where you're kind of sitting on a mountain um, as a job, learning how to ski and do winter sports. It was fabulous. Mm. Oh. Brilliant. Joe, it's been an absolute delight talking to you. Yeah, thanks for giving up your time, Joe. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Joe is, uh, as I say, appearing at the Memorial Theatre in Froome on Friday, the 17th. And uh, yeah, well, I hope it goes Good well. Good luck with all your sh shows, Jack. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Really. Yeah, and thank you very much for yours as well. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Yeah, you, you too, too. Jack. Take care. Cheers. And I think we're going to play the time. Yeah. Take care, Joe. Bye, Joe.